right, hello everybody. This is the Doctor, and welcome to another Star Trek Online video. So, in the last video, I played Brushfire, the brand new season featured episode for season 13.5. I played it on a Federation character, my main character, the Doctor. He's a science character, as I normally play all the missions on first, is my main character. But after I played that episode, I thought, you know what? I need to play that thing as a Klingon. I even said it in the mission itself. So if you haven't seen that video, check it out first. This time, I'm going to replay Brushfire, but as a Klingon. So hopefully, and I'm looking forward to seeing if there's any dialogue changes because I'm Klingon. Maybe the game will recognize I'm Klingon, the mission will, and uh, Rodek and Martok and all that will talk to me as if I were a Klingon. Looking forward to seeing that anyway, so that's what we're going to look for today. Now the character that I'm playing on is one you probably have not seen much in, on my account. I have not, uh, I've done some things with this character, but not a lot lately. This is my primary Klingon character. She is an engineer, so I'll be playing as an engineer today. Her name is Romana. She is uh, uh, the um, a Time Lord. Um, she is from the classic series, the classic Doctor Who series. Uh, was a uh, she was a companion of uh, the Tom Baker Doctor, and uh, during that time, so I quite liked that character in Doctor Who. And anyway, I made a character in Star Trek Online called Romana. In fact, I put her full name. Um, I I'm not going to repeat it here, but uh, you'll see. Where is it? There it is. I spelled out the entire thing just as it is in the TV show. So that's quite cool. Um, she is level 60. She is an Orion female. Um, it was the first KDF character I ever created, and so I went with an Orion female as my first KDF character. Um, she is engineer, and as you can see, uh, she does have the Klingon Honor Guard set on ground. So that's what I will be using as the Klingon Honor Guard set. I don't have a ton of specialized modules. I've got a jam subspace transmissions. I have the crystalline spike I've got a Neutronic Mortar, and then a Beam Turret, and a Seeker Drone. So I don't have, like, particularly very unique or newish kind of kit modules on here. Like I said, I don't do a whole lot with this character anymore. It's been a very long time since I've used her. Um, this is the Moog Battlecruiser I'll be using, the Moog Battlecruiser. It is Tier 5U, so it's not a Tier 6 ship, just Tier 5U. I have planned to do a uh, review of this starship, but I just have never got around to it yet. Um, but this is a Tier 5 ship, the Moog Battlecruiser, and I am using the Klingon Honor Guard stuff on it. And it's anti-proton built. Um, at least everything is mostly mar uh, everything is Mark 14 and mostly epic. And it's anti-proton Klingon Honor Guard stuff. But anyway, the point here is she's obviously KDF, and so we're going to see if this mission recognizes us as KDF. So let's do this. Let's see. Mission Brushfire Hail. Heed the call of the warrior. Claim the honor to your family. So Jim Pock, even though, isn't he dead? Imperial intelligence has learned that Martok is alive. I thought him dead by my hand, and yet he lives. Martok is being held in a sonar facility in the Briar Patch. Officially, it's a research facility built to study metaphysic radiation. In reality, it's a high security prison used to hold political prisoners. General Rodek is leading a covert rescue operation in the Briar Patch. Meet with him there and liberate Martok. Even an enemy should have the chance to live or die with honor. So already, uh, definitely a dialogue change. Chancellor Jim Pock speaking to us, uh, recognizing that uh, Martok is alive, thought him dead by his hand. But isn't Jim Pock also dead? Um, remind me, didn't he die in one of those Iconian missions? 
Serve the Empire well. Not sure how that works. Let's go to the Briar Patch the fast way. Begin brush fire. Gavan, your assistance on this mission is appreciated. Martok is being held here. The Sona facility is a farce, and their two masters are the cowardly Vec of House Torg. They hold their enemies here and deny them a warrior's death. I intend to show them the price of their dishonor. What's your plan, General? Begin by jamming the sonar comm signals. Should we encounter any sonar patrols, eliminate them quickly before they can summon reinforcements. The pockets of Metreon gas may be of tactical use to us. A well-placed volley could ignite them. Timed right, they can become our weapons. Okay. Here we go. Been a while since I've used this ship, so give me a minute here as I try to reacclimate myself with all my weapons. All Okay, <laughs> trying to remember how to fly this ship. <laughs> so give me a second. Making some I of those tight turns there. In the Dominion War, many Jemadar fell to our blades. Target shields have failed. I like the way the Sona should explode. Rear shields failing. Martok's wife shields warning to me this mission, right shield but failing. House Torn knows her face too well. No sign of incoming ships. We still have the element of surprise. This ship is a little weak in the shields, I think. Maybe the hole, too. Um, let me think. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, what I was saying before, I like the way the Sona ships explode. There's something else, though, I was thinking. What was it? I can't remember what it is now. Oh, yeah. One unique weapon I'm using. Because I said I didn't have a lot of unique stuff. One unique weapon I have on this ship is the Crystalline Energy Torpedo Launcher. This was a reward during one of the Crystalline Entity events a while back. And I got this reward on this character a long time ago, the Crystalline en Energy Torpedo, and I upgraded it all the way to Epic. It's the only character that I have this on that's Epic. So the Crystalline Energy Torpedo, and I am using it on this. It does anti-proton damage. So it's an anti-proton damage torpedo. So that's quite unique, anyway. It looks quite cool too when it fires. Ship is under attack. I also have this device here. I think this is the console for this ship. Warning. I have ship that. Under attack. I'm actually doing quite a bit of damage, so even if I 
can't take a whole lot of damage. Uh, I can do a lot of damage if I hit them just right with cannons. It's a little more iffy with cannons because they do miss more than like beams, but they can still be pretty powerful when you hit right. Sonar transmission from near the planet. Patrol 3 hasn't reported in. Investigate it once. We can probably ignore them. By nope. the time they report, we'll be on the planet. Not ignoring them. Alright, we made it through that. A little rough with this ship. Not as easy as my Lucari science vessel was, actually. Uh, this ship, harder to turn because it's bigger. Uh, also, seems to be taking more damage. I guess I don't... Well, I don't know. My shield strength is like 20,000. It's not really a terrible shield strength. But the hole is only 90,000. You know, really, it's not terrible. But um, I guess the Sona weapons are just very powerful. Okay, let's move on. Ground will be very interesting. It's been a lot of. It's been a long time since I've ever done time anything for ground. Stealth has come. We will infiltrate the Sona facility in disguise. I will be wearing the uniform of House Torg, and your away team will be my prisoners. Yes. That is why it will succeed. Beam to my ship, and we will take a shuttle to the prison. Okay, well, here we go. Now, on this one, I am going to be quite tempted to step out of line. I think I'm going to, I just, just to see what happens. I gotta do it. I didn't do it in the last one, and I really wanted to do it. The maximum security area lies ahead. Follow my lead, and we will infiltrate the cell block where they are holding Martok. Remember, you are prisoners. Stay within the red lines, obey all commands, and do not engage the guards until I give you the signal. <laughs> so here I am, all tied up, all my bridge officers tied up as well. My Borg <laughs> looks so silly uh, with that shirt on. Okay, well... It, I know it says to stay in the line, but like I said, I have to try it because I just have to. So see I'm all those turrets. If you step out of line, they are prepared to remind you of your place. Well, here it goes, folks. Wish me luck. I'm gonna do it. Ha ha! I'm just gonna go over the line. Amen. 
So basically, they shoot you back into the line. Well, that's really not that bad. <laughs> okay, so they just basically shoot you. So I'm not a well-behaved prisoner. Hey, I'm a prisoner. I'm not supposed to be well-behaved. Five more lifers! What did you idiots do? Not my concern. My concern is to bring them here now. Fair so, enough. So the Klingons aren't going to fight time me. To find out. Go straight ahead to processing. I was hoping they would like fight me or something. They what didn't. a miserable bunch of backtalk! Get these convicts out of my sight! Okay, well I tried it. I wonder if that's going to be to my detriment later. Am I going to have more enemies to fight, maybe? That would be fun. Watch for patrols. We may need to fight them on the way out. Prisoners to the back wall for processing! I don't see anything about five new prisoners. Not my concern. Shall I tell Torg that you are not ready to receive them? That won't be necessary. We'll process them. Sign here. There go the Zinkethi. We've come for the Butcher. Bring me Martok. Patience. We're out processing him now. You, take these convicts to their cells and be quick about it. Quick. Right. Move along, convicts. Don't make me ask you again. Find Martok. Move along, convicts. Don't make me ask you again. So far, pretty much the same. I still Toy love is allied with the Zinkethi. I love all the coloring here. In to his dishonor. This is lit and colored very well. Martok defeated many Zinkethi in close combat. It is why they call him the Butcher. The lighting is very good here. I think this this is uh, using you know the new lighting 2.0. You around here before? Much better than before. I'm new. What of it? Well, put those convicts in their place, and we can get some blood wine after our shifts. Give me a reason to break you, Patak. We have lots of time to play. I'm going to step out of line and get right in her face. <laughs> or else. Martok, we've come for you. Have you now? Wait, I know your face. One of Moog's sons fights under Torg's banner? Disappointing. Moog? I am Rudik, son of Nagra, an ally of your house, old man. This is no time for talk. Arm yourself before the guards. What is this? Explain yourselves! Isn't it obvious? I'm leaving, you piece of plakta. I think the Zinkethi disagree with you, Martok. Miserable Takek. Hmm, here we go. Right now! 
for the Empire! That wasn't too bad. I was trying to remember it's what good. if I am to die. What all um, die options I have here. Something on your mind. I fought Jem Park, felt his blade strike home, and died the death of a warrior. Until Torg had his doctors bring me back. He denied me honorable death, denied me the halls of Stovokor. And locked me away like so much Baktag. He has much to answer for. Okay. Time is critical here. What would you ask of me? The metaphasic radiation. It's why Torg keeps us here. He can beat us to the edge of death, then let the radiation slowly restore us to health. He is as cruel as he is dishonorable. Time is critical here. Torg boasts about it often. He wants to replace Jem Park as Chancellor, and he allied with the Zenkethi to do it. For some reason, he thinks they can beat us this time. Idiot! In return, Torg pledged to keep the Empire out of Zenkethi affairs, and to turn me over to them. They still hate me for my victory at Zenketh Three. Time is critical here. What there is another here who deserves that honor. A friend, and a warrior born. His cell is not far. We will liberate him. There's nothing unwise about adding a strong arm to your ranks. The console to the left controls the door. The one to the right controls the turrets. Override it, and friend becomes foe. Ha! So far, there's really nothing uh, different than the Klingon or Federation playthrough. Just at the beginning there with our contact, but otherwise... Uh, up to this point, it's been identical, so I don't really see a difference. Let me remind myself what options I have here, because, again, it's been a while since I played this character. I have uh, this subspace thingy. I forgot exactly what it does. And I got a crystalline spike. I think it... Um, what does it do? Jam subspace transmissions emit a data microburst from a tricorder, which causes subspace signal interference. The interference prevents targets from transporting or fabricating resources. Okay. It also dampens the energy wavelengths used by most modern, reducing damage output. Okay. So it reduces their damage output and disables them summoning things. Okay. That's what that does. And then crystalline spike. It's. Uh, taunts all foes, absorbs incoming energy and environmental damage. On death, it does kinetic damage. And explosion damage increased. Okay, how, by how much it's absorbed. Got it. Okay. And then the regular things I have is just a mortar turret. I do have two uh, flying drone things. I like those. I got orbital chase. Okay, I'm good. I know what I'm. I know what I got. Oh yeah, I got seductive seduce thing because I'm an Orion okay got it there he is across the way Marta this warrior you speak of is a Jebata. What of it? The war is over, and he has earned my respect. All right, cool. That works pretty simple. Come out. We have work to do. I stand ready to fight. Who's this? This is Rodek, son of Mo uh, Nagra. Well met. I am first Kavakara, and I am... I know the rest, Jipadar. Martak speaks for you. That is enough for me. Time to go. Okay. Alert. in progress. Security protocol ready. Head back out.
They have locked down the facility. The doors will not stop the charges I brought along, however. We can blast our way back to the elevator. Those charges can be of use in other ways. Torg has been running the pathetic remains of his house from this place. Blowing up critical targets within it will hinder him greatly. Okay. We're going to blow up stuff along the way, basically. Torg's office lies beyond this door. If we're lucky, he'll be in it. Until I run him through, that is. If he's not there, destroy his private computer. He stores all of his critical data on it. Losing it will weaken him considerably. We forge on until we reach the main security office. From there, we can override the rest of the turrets and take out the alarm system. Use the console by the door to override them. Take care of the rest at main security. Okay, got it. Uh, open door. Set charge. Back away. Stand to fight. I was hoping to spill to his blood Klingon. all over this pretty new battler you've given me. For now, we settle for property damage. Set your charges. All right, so far, so good. The most recent file is a bill of sale for some. Some sort of large torpedo. Interesting. Torg bought it from the Zenkethi. Doesn't say what kind of torpedo it is. It must be new and powerful, considering the amount he paid for it. Okay, moving on. This will hurt Torg. At least until I kill him. I guess I don't have orbital chase on this computer, or this computer, on this character. It's just a uh, regular, just a regular orbital strike. Oh well. Security is ours. Override the turrets, then set your charges. We have business elsewhere. Set charge. That should take them a while to repair. Security is down. OK. 
Okay, let's see. The butcher still lives! Unacceptable! Bring me his head now! The strength of a true gem hadar. You, I should have known not to trust you. All right, well, so far, so good. Oh yeah, I remember there's a boss battle at the end of this one in there. That'll be fun. All enemies of the Empire will fall! One day, we were all taken through here to an exercise area. As we passed, I saw a Sona engineer working on these panels. They control power to the cell doors, all of them. Blow up the panels, and all the prisoners go free. I expect they will be eager to settle accounts with their guards. <laughs> Definitely. All right, let's set that charge. And there we go. That should be fun for everyone. to use it on my enemies. Alright, we got the big boss battle coming up. That's going to be a lot of fun. I'll get to use all my powers. I haven't used everything yet all at once, so that'll be good. I like a good battle. It's time to evacuate. When we reach the roof, our ships can pick us up. Lego. The elevator's offline. How will we escape? We will use a grappling device to reach the rooftop. Once we're out, we will deactivate the Sona shield generator to clear a path for our ships. And away we go. This is highly unorthodox. Yes, an audacious plan, worthy of a true Klingon warrior. You honor your house and mine. When we are free of this place, we have much to discuss. Very nice. Now the roof. Things are heating up. Sonas and Kathy and house truck ships are closing on our position. We need a little time to check them off before we can pick you up. All right, get here as soon as you can. I see the warriors of House Torg and Zenketh have come to test us. Fill the halls of Grafor with their souls! Kapla! 
I told Lady Sorella that I would bring you home. Enemy on sensors. I intend to honor that promise. I'm saving my um I see they've sent a pack of filthy caroots. My thingies fight. here for Good. the um, final boss. I can use the exercise. My engineering ground proficiency one and the um the other one. That'll give me extra damage, but I'm going to wait until the bu the big boss Now I know why Jemadar wish to be Klingons when they cross the anomaly. Send them all to Grethor! Enemy forces are larger than we expected. Flanking damage detected. Dang, he knocked that turret away. <laughs> he like Hulk smashed that turret. The battlefield is ours. Now we must destroy the sonar shield generator to clear the way for our ships. I'm just getting all my turrets and stuff ready here. Get all that launched. Because once we do this, I think we're going to get the boss. All right, where's that shield generator? over here. Rodak, the core. The shield is down. Prepare to extract... Martok! You call yourself a warrior? A leader? I call you a coward and a butcher. I will avenge your victims. I think not, Zenkethi. Not while I live. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that was smart. Hey, look at his Jemadar, feet. Look at his look at his feet go running. Now and join your changeling guards. Oh. He killed no. him. Wow, why'd he run right up to him like that? That was kind of stupid. 
All by himself, too. Butcher! This ends here! Now! No trial! No mercy! Only your death! Many have tried to kill me, and failed to get me. Come, and add your name to the list. Enemy Ow. Stop doing that. I'm stuck. Well, he is definitely after me. Can I just can I just kneel down and dodge him? I wonder. Nope, I cannot do that. <laughs> that does not work. I still got him. This is stone, and he's gone. All right, we're in transport range, ready to energize at your command. I will take Martok with me to the core. Perhaps after the battle, he can explain some of the strange things he said in his cell. Perhaps. For now, the enemy waits for us in the stars. Are you ready to meet them in battle? Alright, now we got a big space battle. This could go a little iffy with my ship. I may explode a few times, but in the end I'll get him. <laughs> the enemy is near. We are outnumbered, but my crew got a signal to our allies. Reinforcements should arrive soon. Alright. There is no escape for you, Pratak! But you are not going to die today! Oh no, no! You will be taken alive! Martok will be delivered to the Zinkedi! And the rest of you will spend your days in a place that makes Rurapinthe look pleasant! Perhaps when I am Chancellor, I will have them sing songs about you, Martok! So that Klingon children will know what failure is. The day's not over yet, Torg Battle Stations. The blood of my heir is on your blade, Torg. It will be avenged. If your blood is as thin and weak as his, it will barely stain my blade. Old words for a cowardly traitor. Say them to my face. You have a spy. Hey, that's pretty good. This is a good start, anyway. Torg! I claim the rights of vengeance! Face me in battle, or I'll kill you where you stand! And here we go. 
I'll take pleasure delivering your corpse to the Zinkati. <laughs> What's left of it, anyway? Klingon tradition. Uh, and he stops it with his hands. That's that's difficult to do. Look at him jiggle. Oh, and he falls. I claim command of this vessel. Any objections? No? Then make ready for battle. Excellent. Hostile vessels. You have invaded so We are space. still close and to without the domination. You will be quiet about it. What do you know, Jesse? Other than the taste of their boots on your lips. So many people talking at once. Like right in the middle of his huge thing. Huge ball General of fire. General Rodek, I do hope you have my husband with you. Preferably intact. I am Worf, son of Moog. Gintok to the House of Martok. The House of Torg must not be allowed to survive this day. A dreadnought, huh? No longer is it a dreadnought. Well, we did it. I am in your debt. You have given me the chance to regain the honor I lost in that cell. I will not forget it. For now, I shall return to Kronos with my wife, the warriors of my house, and the sons of Moog. It is time for their house to be restored, if they wish it. Ah, yep. All right, it was an honor to serve with you. It has been a day of victory, and yet I am troubled. These things that Martok says, that I am a son of a different father, brother to a warrior I barely know, that I lived the life of another man. There is much I have to learn, but now is not the time. I must return Martok to Quanos before the enemy regroups. Until then, 
fight well. well. Correct me if I'm wrong. Isn't Rodek Worf's future son that came back to the past? Is that correct? I forgot his name. It r escapes me now, but is that who he is? And then he changed his name? I don't know why his memories are gone, though. That's weird, but... I'm a little confused on the order of things anyway and how what things have transpired, but I know there's that whole thing about his son. No, not his, not his, yeah, his son, but that's not all there is to it, right? There's something else. That That's not, is that the right person I'm thinking of, or am I thinking that, because, no, there was another son of Moog. That's what it is, not his son. That was Alexander. That was a whole different thing. I remember that episode. No. Rodak is another son of Moog. So he has a brother. So they're brothers. He's like a secret son of Moog. But then why doesn't he remember that? That's what it is, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. It's something along those lines. I'm, I'm right. Somewhere in there, I'm right. Well, that's the mission on the Klingon side. Okay. Let's uh, hail command. Imperial politics at this level are seldom boring. Though this particular incident had a lower body count than I expected. Martok has assured me that he will not pursue the Chancellery. This will make a number of people in the Empire sleep a little easier. For now, at least. Martok plans to regain his lost honor in combat. I suspect the Zinketi will provide him with ample opportunities for battle, and soon. No, I don't think we've seen the last of him. And if Martok should wish to visit our old quarrel, I shall be waiting. Okay. Serve the Empire well. Okay, so that is the mission brush fire on the KDF. Now, somebody did mention in the comment comments, so I'll just say that here. I asked what is uh, unique or different about Torg's dishonored Batleth that would require keeping it, and uh, the answer is it does toxic damage. And if you look down there, you'll see it does 2.4 toxic damage, 4.1 DPS, 80% shield penetration. As far as I know, and this person knows, it is the only Batleth that does toxic damage. So that's what makes the Batleth unique if you want to keep it and use it as a Batleth, is the fact that it does toxic damage. But I really like the Batleth we get from a mission called the Sword of Kaelas here, which is a very cool Batleth as well. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, there's no toxic on it. Um, but anyway... Um, that is this mission on KDF, and to be honest, I did not really notice or see anything unique, uh, which is kind of unfortunate. Just the initial hailing prompt at the beginning and at the end there with Jim Pock. Otherwise, the mission is exactly the same on the KDF. Um, there's the dialogue's exactly the same. You don't really, there's really nothing that different about it, so... Uh, I guess you can play it on any faction you want, and it will be okay. Um, I do like it when they introduce unique things, you know, like if they recognize you are on a specific faction, that would be cool. But in this one, they did not go that route, unfortunately. Also, I don't know if there are, but I didn't see any specific career-based um, accolades to complete. Uh, they used to do this thing where they would have career-based accolades. Like if you were a specific career type, you could do so-and-so in the mission, and it would uh, help you with the mission and also un you know, unlock that accolade. But uh, they don't do that anymore. So if you're engineer, science, or tactical, there's not a special thing you go do that's different on each faction. I wish they would bring that back. That would be very cool, but that's not in here either. Other than those couple of things, the, um, the environment, whoever designed that facility and did the textures on it and did the lighting and did the design of that facility, uh, A plus on that. I mean, visually, it's one of the better looking things in this game. Uh, they really are using that lighting 2.0 really well on that map. And whoever wrote the story, physically wrote the storyline, really good too. I mean, it feels like a proper Klingon storyline. 
and it feels like something you could see in a, a t in the, one of the TV shows. So kudos on that kind of stuff. It really does well. It's one of the better missions in a while. Uh, we have had some good ones, though. I remember the one with Sela that we did have recently. That was also very good. So there have been a, a, some real gems lately on uh, missions uh, here, for Star Trek Online anyway, that have been quite good. So I hope they keep that level of quality up. I want more of that quality. Keep that up. Well, everybody, there you go. I've now played Brushfire twice. I don't really see a need to play it on any other faction or any other career type. Um, but it is still a good test of your character, ground and space. Uh, I did play it just on the normal difficulty. But, of course, if you want a little bit of a challenge, you can play it on a higher difficulty. And uh, that could be a very good test of your space and ground equipment. Uh, I would recommend that, actually. In fact, I may end up using brush fire in the future to test my ships and my ground battles with. I may use this mission right here on a high difficulty. Uh, for example, in my Starship reviews, I could use this mission on a high difficulty in the Starship review to really test out the ships. That could be something. Or the ground portion of it to show off ground gear, ground equipment, and uh, ground powers and stuff like that. So I might end up using brush fire in the future on a higher difficulty because I think that could be a good test of equipment and things. All right. Well, there you go. I think this was a good mission and I look forward to their continuing the storyline. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one.